what should we now expect in terms of the efforts of the government to mainstream electric mobility? First of all, we are importing the crude oil of 7 to 8 lakh crores every year. We need solution, import, substitute, cost effective, pollution free and indigenous. And as a transport minister, my highest priority is for public transport on electricity. As far as the infrastructure is concerned, our first priority is to waterways, second priority is to railway, third priority is to the road, and fourth priority is for the aviation. But unfortunately, our public transport on the road is increased. Now for public transport, either it is buses or railway, and even airlines also, they are facing crucial problem because of COVID-19. Their business is not up to the mark. They are facing some crucial problems. But this is a temporary phase. I am confident that we will fight the war against COVID-19 and 100% we will win over the war and also 100% we will win the war against economic, economic problems. And that is the reason that electric vehicle, as a transport minister, our policy is ethanol, methanol, biodiesel, bio CNG, electric and LNG. Because of pollution, air pollution and water pollution is a big problem for the country. You know the problem in Delhi. So first of all, we are encouraging biofuel. The first of all, our ethanol economy is of 20,000 crore. We are now planning to make it within five years, the ethanol economy of 5 lakh crore. We are giving permission to making ethanol B heavy molasses. First of all, from sugar cane juice, making sugar, there is a 4% C molasses. We are converting molasses into ethanol. Then we are giving permission to make B heavy molasses that is 7% adding 3% more sugar in molasses that is coming to 7% of the sugar percentage that is from B heavy molasses to ethanol. Third is sugar can juice to ethanol and the most important decision taken by the government because we have rice surplus, wheat surplus, corn surplus and sugar surplus. Our price MSP is higher than international market and commercial prime market. And that is one of the reason we are facing agriculture crisis. And that is the reason we have taken the decision for diversification of agriculture towards energy and power sector. For that reason, we are allowing now making ethanol from corn and rice, even from food grain. So this is a revolutionary change we have taken. And now as a transport minister, I am trying pursuing it. I am expecting next month we will in position to start that. That is the flex engine which is already available in USA, Canada, and Brazil. All brands, BMW, Mercedes, Hyundai, Toyota, Ford, everywhere, the engines are available. And that is, you can use 100% petrol or 100% bioethanol. So now government has given permission for ethanol pumps. Already Bajaj and TVS has already launched their uh, bike and scooter on bioethanol. So 100% there is a choice for the consumer to use ethanol or a petrol. That is first thing. Second thing regarding e-vehicle, we have also a big program. Now 81% of the lithium ion batteries we are making in India. And our first priority for three, four years, we are going for a lithium ion battery. We don't have any problem in it. There is no shortage of lithium. Actually, within six months, we will be in position to make 100% lithium ion battery in India, made in India and make in India. The other important thing where we have a large meeting in my ministry with Niti Aayog, ISRO, DRDO, all institutions, research laboratories, Prime Minister, uh, scientific advisor and all the stakeholders. And at that meeting, we are working on aluminum ion, zinc ion, sodium ion and steel ion. Alternative for lithium are also the process is going on. Then we are working on hydrogen, green hydrogen, hydrogen fuel cell. The Chennai IIT has invented, successfully experimented about uh, from seawater, they convert, they get green hydrogen. So hydrogen is also the mission for us. We are working on that. We are now uh, for a uh, experimental level, we are now starting some green buses on hydrogen fuel. Then we are also converting diesel truck onto LNG. Then we are making CNG from biomass, cotton straw, wheat mm. straw, rice straw and bagasse. We are encouraging biodiesel also. So the our main mission is to import, substitute, cost effective, pollution free and indigenous. And as far as the scrapping policy is already sanctioned. And that is the reason that within five years, 100% I'm confident that India will be the number one manufacturing hub of e-vehicle in the world. Now, because of the scrapping policy, 
the steel uh, aluminium copper rubber and plastic mm. will be available for recycling and we will reduce the lost la, la, cost of the component by which we can make the product economically viable of a good quality of e vehicle and our export will be increased 100% electric buses electric cars electric scooter electric bikes 100% i am confident that within 2 years the cost of electric bus will be equal to diesel bus cost of four wheeler car electric car will be equal to petrol car and two wheeler also petrol two wheeler equal to electric vehicle so electric is the future for us we are also planning for making of e highway between delhi to jaipur also the new express highway we are planning for that and there are some companies who are manufacturing electric trucks so the things are moving fast in india 100% we will be in position within a two year we will be the world leader in e vehicles